Hello, my name is Sophia C and I go to Mountain View High School and I'm a rising junior. So my first milestone was creating an edge impulse model using one of the tutorials and I use the audio classifier tutorial and um, what this milestone was about was getting a deeper understanding of how machine learning works through edge impulse because my main project, which is the fitness rehab device, requires a lot of machine learning. So how my model works is that there are seven classifiers. Hello, dad. Hello, mom. Hello, Frederick. Hello, Sophia. Hello, Mela, noise and unknown. And if you say one of the classifiers into the model, um, like, it's gonna show up for a second, but. Um, like, for example, if you say like, hello, dad, hello, dad, or like show up, like, hello, Frederick, hello, mom, hello, Mella, hello, Sophia. And then there's a little bit of lag, but you can also say it slowly, like, hello, dad, hello, Frederick, and then it'll also do the same thing. So that's like kind of one of the modifications I did to the tutorial. And when I first started um, the edge impulse model, I only had three classifiers. It was Hello Sophia, Noise, and Unknown. And I needed very little data in order for um, the model to accurately depict which classifier you were saying. Um, but when I started adding the four other classifiers, I had very little data for that, for those classifiers and a lot for Hello Sophia. And this prompted an error and bias because of underfitting. And because of this, when you would say something into the model, there wasn't enough data for the model to accurately de um, depict the, uh, the differences between the different classifiers. So it would automatically default to Hello Sophia because that's where most of the data lied in the data set. So in order to overcome this challenge, I just recorded more data for the different hello classifiers um, that I added. And another challenge that I had to overcome was that my data sets were in really large increments, which were between one and three minutes. And to do this, to overcome this challenge, I split the data using edge impulse, which I can show. But basically, this is one of my data sets. It was hello dad, I'm pretty sure. And what you have to do is you have to click add segment and you can take um, a little piece of the data and hello dad and you can just kind of um, add these segments along the recording and then if you click split then it will split the data and it will only um, use the data that you split so that's how that works and you, um, another, splitting the data helps with the accuracy of the model because before I split the data, my accuracy was around 60%, but after I split it, um, I got it up to 80%, which is the ideal accuracy. And yeah, and then the next steps for my project is I need to create um, a circuit board for my accelerometer and I need to draw a schematic for that to also upload to my GitHub and um, I need to test typical accelerometer values for the correct shoulder movements I want the user to do.